everybody and welcome back to my channel long time no speak oh my goodness it has been a fair while so i can only apologize and if you i am aware some of you guys only watch my youtube videos and may not necessarily follow me over on instagram so you really do think i have fallen off of a cliff but i promise you i haven't i am here and I've just been, I'm back in my natural habitat because I've been a bit here, there and everywhere, quite literally this time, which has been very, very exciting, full of adventures, epic memories created. And I thought I would just create this video to sort of catch you guys up on where I've been. I've seen some comments come in and I have tried to reply to them just to say, I am all okay. I've had some messages through Instagram as well. And I really do appreciate those guys because it makes me, it makes you feel loved if I'm completely honest and it makes you feel appreciated and also that you guys do enjoy and you're actually missing my content. So it's really, really lovely. I just apologize that I have been the worst vlogger of getting content out to you guys but unfortunately youtube has just had to had to take a little bit of a back seat whilst i enjoy them but i will go into that in more detail like i say i'm back to reality and if you guys do hear any cows mooing in the background i do apologize i love this time of year trying to create videos around here but it's the reality of living on a farm they have just been weaned off from their mothers so they are just a little bit noisy so if you can hear them in the background i'm sorry but it is the reality of being down here there you go right on cue thank you little moo moo cow this week has actually been my first full week back at work so five full days since i was working this out whilst i was riding since the second to last week in january so i feel like i've literally clicked my fingers and february has disappeared like completely i can't believe we're in march already but how much am i loving the longer daylight hours so if you guys are based in the uk i hope you're appreciating them too hours go back oh, spring forward spring forward go forward at the end of this month so it won't be long and we'll have even more daylight hours which i cannot wait for i would just now very much appreciate the mud and the rain to stop now i've got to be honest my day today has already had to kind of swap around i was gonna ride and do everything this afternoon but the weather looks like it's coming in absolutely terrible so i've come down gotten addy out for a quick ride which was much more enjoyable than my last couple of rides because she has been a bit of a fire breathing dragon it has been very windy to be fair almost like you knew that this rain that was coming today has been coming in because oh my goodness it's been so windy and it's been typical she's had quite a bit of time off but i thought i'm gonna go through that in this vlog of what both the horses have been up to what i've been up to but i have promised christopher that i would have breakfast with him like i say my day swapped around he got all stuff for breakfast and i said i will be there i will be there and i said i'd be home for half past 10. it's currently now half past 10. but he said around half 10. only takes me five minutes to get home and I'm very much hoping that by the time we do get home, the box will have delivered of our Hello Fresh, who is today's video sponsor, so I can talk you through the meals that we have got coming up in the next week. But Chris did say, he was like, will you be home for half 10? And it won't be like, half past 11, 12 o'clock, you know, true equestrian. We're only going down to the stables for an hour or so, and we end up being three, four, maybe even five hours, and they wonder where we get to. So I am not going to, annoy him i'm trying to work on this husband horse life balance <laughs> be a good wife get home and make some breakfast with him and then like i say i will introduce you to today's video sponsor before filling you in of what i have been up to over the past six weeks now back home in my kitchen had our brunch chris has got hubby points for cooking the best poached eggs. I can't lie, they were absolutely spot on. Just what you want from poached eggs. I really struggle when I cook them, but he seems to do them so, so well, so he can continue doing them. But then I did get wifey points because I was back around about the time that I said I was going to be, so I was in time for that brunch. He's now shot off to football, and I've just had a knock on the door for the box that I have been waiting for, which is from HelloFresh, who I am delighted to be collaborating again for this video. I, I rave about HelloFresh all the time, and I actually had a really good conversation on one of my trips that I did last week 
with my friend's sister and she gets HelloFresh and she was absolutely raving about it and how much that she enjoys it, how easy it makes her life. And I have to admit, I made a bit of a boo-boo this week because with all the trips and everything that I've been on recently, I forgot, I had skipped this week. So we've not had any meals. And admittedly, I haven't been very well. So eating has been a little bit odd for me this week, but I'm looking forward to getting back to having some like full wholesome meals. Like they contain everything. So let's have a little look what we have got coming up for us this week. We have got Lebanese style meatballs in tomato sauce with spinach, couscous and flaked almonds. Oh, looks good, doesn't it? And it's just like I say, you've got everything in there. You've got your meat for your protein, you've got the couscous for your carbs, you've got your vegetables, you've got your spinach and your carrots, and it's just like a well-balanced meal. And I've got to admit, that is something that I'm really missing, especially when you go on these trips, you don't perhaps eat like you do when you're at home. So I'm looking forward to getting back to normal and eating my lovely meals that I get delivered from HelloFresh and also saving time. I've had to go to the co-op every day this week and trying to decide, I've been sat in the car park phoning Chris, what do you want for dinner tonight? And then it's, yeah, it, oh, it's just so much effort, it's ridiculous. Whereas this has arrived on my doorstep, everything is in there that I need to make these meals. Everything is already pre-weighed out, so I don't need to worry about weighing anything out, wasting any ingredients, which is something that we most definitely do. Like the other day I cooked something and I said to Chris, can you pick up a red onion? And for some reason he could only pick up 12. Well, I've probably got about 10 left in my fridge and it's like, what do you do with them? Um, I like red onion, but not that much. So it's just, yeah, helps us. We don't waste as much and saves us so much time, money and effort. Next up, we have got a rump steak with Parmesan rosemary roasties with cream, mustard sauce and salad. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Again, lovely balanced meal there. And then this one I know I'm going to say wrong. Ultimate Parmiango, said that wrong, crumbled chicken schnitzel with mashed mustard cream sauce and tender stem. Oh, that is good as well. So I've gone for quite a variety and that is the great thing. There are so many different recipes that you can pick and it's really easy on the app you can pause skip like you know i accidentally did you can pause skip cancel your subscription at any time but if you guys would like to give hellofresh a try i have got a code just for you you can use em 2024hf that will gain you 60 percent off your first box plus the next two months with 20 percent off plus and perhaps maybe the best bit free desserts for life. So in this box, I have also got, as well as all my meals and all my ingredients, I have also got some little double chocolate and vanilla cheesecakes. Now there are a few different desserts that you can go for, but I have decided to go for these little cheesecakes. I'm quite partial to a cheesecake and these are like little pots of heaven, aren't they? So Chris and I are very much going to enjoy tucking into that after our dinner. Oh, look at the picture on the side, it looks good. Focus camera, focus. It's not focusing, it's deciding not to focus, but yeah, you can get free desserts for life. So like I say, use my code, there will be a link that will take you directly to the HelloFresh website with my code applied, or you can use the QR code that will be here on screen. So get your smartphone out, pop it up to that, and that will take you again straight to the HelloFresh website and have my code applied to it. But I'm gonna pop this, so I just pop all of these bags. They've got corresponding numbers on them that go to the recipe cards. Again, the camera's not gonna focus. So I just pop them directly into the fridge and then when I pick one of these later, I will pop a little insert here now of our dinner. I can't say which one it's gonna be right now. So you might have to wait and it'll be a surprise for me as well. Um, but we'll cook up one of them this evening and I will pop a little bit over the top here of the end result. I'm, I'm, I, I know I haven't long had brunch, but already I feel like my mouth's starting to water because I am excited to be trying these recipes. So like I say, do use that code if you would like to give HelloFresh a try. I honestly highly recommend it and you won't look back. I was always really umming and ahhing when I first tried HelloFresh and I've got to admit, 
first couple of weeks in, I was like, I'm not looking back. And now it's been well over three years and they're still arriving on my doorstep. Okay, so that is today's video sponsor. I am now, the weather, I'm surprised. I thought it was gonna be coming in proper wet but so far i don't know whether it keeps pushing it back and back and back i thought christmas football was going to be cancelled but it hasn't been but i am going to head back down to the horses now need to do a deep muck out leave that dry out so that i can come back later and put down nice fresh beds of straw for them i've also had a new haylage bale brought down so let's get that one open as well and then apologies it's probably already quite long already but we will then go on to what i have been up to in the last few weeks which is very exciting it's, yeah it's been an epic few weeks but let's get down to the ponies and i will uh, explain all whilst i am mucking out now i was supposed to film whilst i was mucking out but just like that boop, 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 they are all done but my nephew was here um, and my dad and they were chatting to me whilst I was doing it so actually it was quite nice to catch up with them but like I say they are all fully deep mucked out both ponies um, Addie doesn't, does not seem to last the week she is such a messy mare um, and it, oh, I need to sort out something else for these rubber mats because it's just like eating away at it where the wee is being sort of saturated so I build it up through the week putting in fresh straw on top all throughout and then at the weekends I do a deep muck out but I have been very 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 fortunate that I have not had to do this for about six weeks so I just want to say now a huge huge thank you to my mum and dad because what I have been up to in the last six weeks would not be possible if I did not have them there helping and supporting and even when I got back and I haven't been a hundred percent I've been quite poorly but that I've still got down here and dad has done basically all the stables and all I've got to do is lead them in. So I am so, so grateful to them. Dad has been doing all the deep muck outs for me. Susie has also helped, I think a couple of times as well um, on my first trip, because I've been on so many. No, I've only been on two, but yeah, first trip was quite a lengthy one. Um, but I'm gonna leave that dry out a little bit, do all the other jobs and then get some straw down to make them some nice big fluffy beds. We're gonna pick up the dumpy bag and head on up and get some nice yummy haylage. I've got a fresh bale up there waiting again. Thanks to dad. It's making me sound really spoiled, isn't it? Again, thanks to dad for bringing the bale down for me. Although I would have quite happily have done that, but it is up there. It just needs to be opened up, fill the dumpy bag up and then come down and fill up their net. So then I will talk about Chris and I's epic adventure where we headed off to the Philippines on our honeymoon. So as I said, our first trip was our honeymoon, which is quite a lot later than our wedding. So we got married last May, and then because of rainy season out in the Philippines, we were just out of rainy season really. So before it got too busy, although it was Chinese New Year, so that is quite a lot of where they will go over for their holidays. But we headed all the way to the Philippines, which was absolutely incredible. Like it just makes me smile now. It was such an epic three weeks. Obviously it is quite a long way from the UK and we decided to go for three weeks and I'm so glad that we did. We island, island hopped, yeah, island hopped around lots of different locations. I think we went to about seven and caught various flights, ferries, stayed different lengths of time. Some places was only a couple of nights and there was four nights and three nights and we kind of made it up as we went along. We never had really a hotel booked or anything like that. We just made it up as we went along. We had obviously done all of our research of places that we wanted to visit and a kind of direction. There is actually 7,000 islands that make up the Philippines. So of course we have only slightly dabbed our toe into it out there, but what a beautiful, beautiful country. Lovely and hot, just what you want when it's weather like this at home. But it was brilliant, absolutely amazing. So many epic memories. I did film bits and bobs whilst I was out there. Obviously I put the drone up a little bit, had the GoPro when we were snorkeling. We actually swam with turtles, which has been like a lifetime dream of mine. And we actually managed to do it on like the first day that we got down into Karom, which was absolutely incredible. Can't quite believe. Hey. 
Dad's telling me off for the electric to light up my... Oh, it didn't really make much difference. Well, if it was dark, not in the middle of the day. It's called lighting. If you can't see there, you want to go get your eyes tested. It's not for that, it's for the camera. Where did I get to? Spent three incredible weeks out there with Chris. And of course, I had planned it that Addy was going to have some time off. I gave her three weeks after Bicton and I thought instead of giving her like six weeks off in one big block, I'll give her three weeks at the end of the season and then give her three weeks. Then I don't need to worry about pestering anybody to come and ride her or to have to send her away or anything like that. So it just made it much, much easier. Susie came down and carried on taking Spritey out. Sorry, I just realised I'm out of the camera. So Susie came down, continued to take Spritey out for me until... I think it was the last week. We'll come on to that in a minute. Um, but one place that I was staying at, I can't think, where was I? Where were we? And I think we might have been, it was about a week and a half, so about halfway into our trip. And I get a phone call from my mum and dad saying, we can't catch Addy. And I'm like, right, okay. And she was being an absolute nightmare. Uh, she wouldn't let the head collar be put on. She was just right. Port Dearama was down by the gate and basically saying, "I want to come in, but Addy needs to come in as well." I wouldn't dream of bringing one of them in and not the other. I would not trust what, well, trust what Addy would do, I suppose. So they did end up actually having a night out whilst I was away. They then, in the morning, managed to somehow get them to walk through here with no head collar on into this field which then goes down and around in front of the house to then be able to have a smaller area because obviously they're up in a 10 acre field like it's kind of yeah asking for trouble anyhow they managed to get her in and then she went out with a head collar on a leather one i may just like to add um in case it was to get stuck on anything it would always snap off but she was then put out with a head colour on for the remainder of my trip and was then good. I feel this is the true definition of I'm not multitasking very well. I'm not getting far into this bale, am I? Well, I was talking, but it is bringing back lovely memories. It almost feels like it was such a long time ago already now. It's crazy. Um, just see my brother, he's just turned up and he goes, oh, I haven't seen you for a few months, <laughs> which is crazy. So Addy then was able to be caught, which obviously was good and they were then coming in every night like they had been and i have to say the first day that i got back from that trip we did come straight down i had to pick nala up obviously could not have left nala for another night during her so she's also stayed here at my mum and dad so like i say i wouldn't be able to do these trips without them so very very grateful to them came down said hello to mum dad nala sprite and addy and then the following morning i went no she can go straight out i'll leave a go and as i went to collect her that day i was thinking oh am i asking for trouble here but she was obviously missing her mum because dad said good luck and i went straight up there she came straight over to me head collar straight on came in literally no problem didn't put up one ounce of fuss and she came straight in so i'm gonna take that as she was just missing her mum and was refusing to come in because she wanted to demand some mummy tension and wanted to know where she was so yeah i'm gonna take it as that and she has been actually good as gold ever since and then dear old spritey so as i said susie was riding her for a couple of times maybe three times a week for me just to get her out and about keep her moving don't think the weather home here was very good and spritey as we all know absolutely hates the rain so i think it made it a little bit difficult of actually getting her out but on the last weekend so we got back on the thursday i think it was the saturday or sunday susie gave me a ring and just said the sprite's not quite feeling right i thought okay so they started to ice her leg because they thought there was a little bit of swelling i came home there was still a bit of swelling there and i just thought she had maybe tweaked a tendon which is something that she's done quite a lot in her past and just thought it just needs to be iced and it will heal up but it didn't heal up if anything she got worse and worse and i was like oh my goodness like she was barely being able to put any weight on it almost like she'd broken her leg it was very dramatic then with a little bit more looking around and i have been looking thinking perhaps it is an abscess and i kept looking 
and then I found the soft spot. With that, it then popped and came out of her heel and she was able to walk again. It was like not the end of the world anymore, but I could not believe just how bad she was for an abscess. They do say that they will dramatically go downhill, but dramatically get better as well. And that is exactly what she did. They then had their vaccinations. So they are all good for the next 12 months. Um, so obviously couldn't be ridden then. Addie had also lost a shoe. So I had to wait for that to be put on. And then before I knew it, I was heading off again. So I think I got the shoe put back on on the Tuesday. I managed to ride a Tuesday, Wednesday. And I have to admit, out here on this gravel bit, she was a right little monkey. So I think I had one ride on her on the Friday. Like I said, we got back on Thursday. I rode her Friday. She was good as gold, went straight out. Obviously just wanting to build her up slowly. And then she lost a shoe, had the injection. So couldn't get the shoe put back on until a little bit later into the next week. So I rode her then the Tuesday and Wednesday it was, that was it. Yes, rode her the Tuesday and the Wednesday before I then headed off early on Thursday morning for another trip. But she was an absolute nightmare. Can't lie, she did not want to leave here. Proper napping, like, nope, I'm not leaving. But we got through it, and the moment she got out the lane, turned up, left or right, she then went, okay, and she was good as gold for the rest of the ride. So it was just that she needed just to test me that little bit. Maybe she didn't miss her mum as much as I originally thought. Then that leads me on to my second trip, which was to Edinburgh, but I'm gonna fill this up a minute. I'm clearly not very good at multitasking. Oh, uh, Nala's favorite thing, bit of Baylor's wine. But yes, we then headed off to Edinburgh because my friends who have featured on vlogs before, Adam and Kaz, are getting married at the beginning of June in eos may i say a greek island just off of santorini which is very very exciting so kaz was also one of my bridesmaids and adam was chris's best man and we are doing roles reversed for their wedding so i am kaz's bridesmaid which is very exciting and chris is also best man along with adam's brother as well so we have got that to look forward to later on this year, which is what I was meaning, like there is quite a lot going on this year. I've got three weddings before the end of June, which is crazy <laughs> considering we're in March already. It's, uh, yeah, and then also my other friend has also got engaged whilst I was in the Philippines. That was a very exciting phone call to receive. So again, she has featured on vlogs. Gemma, also a bridesmaid of mine she is engaged and they have just set a date for april next year which again is super exciting it is proper like a wedding fever at the minute and i'm absolutely here for it i'm loving it so we went to edinburgh for kaz's hendy we went up on the thursday came back on the sunday and yeah had a fabulous time i wasn't chris picked up something on our way home from philippines which just took a few few days I was behind him really so I was going up there and not feeling fully 100% I was still on my A game was going to be there for Kaz do not get me wrong but I knew I wasn't feeling quite quite myself so we went up there obviously had quite late nights lots of fun and Susie's arrived with a Kentucky Fried Chicken number plate so then we went up there, like I say, we had an absolutely amazing time. Kaz had no idea what we were doing. I'm going to insert a picture here of our Harry Potter fancy dress, which I absolutely loved. Again, showing that I'm spoiled. Chris made my dobby ears just before we left to go up there, dear of him. But obviously there was a lot of walking involved and I had a couple of like nasty mosquito bites from the Philippines on my foot which by the time I'd been in socks and shoes, the whole time around Edinburgh, city break, like like any city break, is always on your feet, aren't you? You're always out and about exploring and taking in all the sights that you can see. The castle is absolutely beautiful, by the way, guys. I had a few people message me on Instagram of like going, we live up here and you are so lucky. It's such a pretty city. But these poor bites did not go very well and got quite nastily infected i was trying to cover them up with plasters with compede and all of that 
but actually that just made it worse because it peeled off even more skin and I'm not joking you I then came back with holes in my foot like that and they were so so painful like I said all infected so I've actually been to the doctors three times this week I was looking back I haven't been to the doctors since 2022 two years ago and I've now been three days in a row I've had obviously seen the doctor I've then had bloods taken I've got antibiotics I've then had swabs taken as well um, I've actually just had something come back this morning to say from my blood is that I had strep because the journey home I was like hot and cold feeling really really bad and just oh I oh it was horrible like you know when you are so wrapped up but you are still freezing cold but you are so hot to touch I was like that it was horrible but thankfully it didn't really kick in until Sunday and then the beginning part of this week I've been pretty bad but the antibiotics have now kicked in and I am feeling much better I've still got a few days left of the antibiotics so obviously like you know you've got to carry on and take the whole course but I'm heading in the right direction and it's nice to see that this has come back to say that there was something um, there they are also testing me for tropical disease because it was from a mosquito bite but I actually think it was just that I don't think it was infected before that I think it was actually after that but yeah anyways so I've not been in the best of health and I'm just dying like I said at the beginning with HelloFresh I want to eat some real wholesome filling meals because appetite has not been a greatest strength this week and to get back exercising because I have got a beer belly coming back from uh, honeymoon they have got beer out there called Red Horse quite partial to the name and I drank that pretty much every day <laughs> And it was something like 8.7%. It's like as strong as Rattler is here, really. Um, Cornish cider. But I drank that an awful lot every day and I'm now ready. I'm ready to go running, but I can't run yet because of the sores on my feet. They're in the wrong place and I just think actually running is going to aggravate it. So I'm trying to be sensible. But Monday is the day. Right, I think I've filled this up enough. Let's go uh, fill up the hay nuts. I'm not very good at multitasking. Have you been hiding? Hey. Yes, I have been hiding. I'm surprised they even still know who you are. <laughs> I've been on YouTube for like, Thomas just turned up and went, all right, I've seen you for a few months. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's very true. I've come at the right time, guys, clearly, haven't I? Hope you take I'll watch Carry It Down. Clearly. <laughs> I've been keeping up with my exercise. I have not. <laughs> I really am not. I'm so unfit and unhappy. You're right there. It's even doing things like this. I can't remember the last time I've done this. A while. A while. My dad's been really cute because he's been doing this all for me this week because I've not been very well. Oh. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> I do do it normally. <laughs> I have been spoiled. That's what I'm saying. Everything on here, I've been saying how spoiled I am. I've got a good network around me. Okay, so it's the Six Nations on at the moment, so I'm heading off to watch the rugby. The weather is absolutely disgusting, so I think the ponies are going to be quite happy to come in a little bit earlier than normal. I have absolutely stuffed their hay nets are full of yummy haylish. They've got nice, big, thick, fresh beds. Just very, very quickly, whilst I'm making up their feed, Spritey has been gradually moving over from the senior super concentrated balancer not holding that very well that one there and I've been blending it in as per the instructions from blue chip team Anna who's been very helpful and she is now on the senior plus balancer so hopefully that is just going to give her a little bit extra whether she's going to be on that all year maybe just over the winter months and then when we come into summer she'll go back just onto the senior not the senior plus um but it's perfect for her just with this weather and she is getting a little bit older in her years that just needs that little bit extra helping hand i'm gonna be honest and hopefully not bring tears but she this abscess is obviously she's not been quite right with it but been wandering for a little while and i know i've been here before so i'm hoping that it's just a little phase it's the winter and she'll be better as we get into spring but she's just not quite feeling sprighty like like she still wants to go she's like pawing at the door and stuff like that but you can just feel her when you're riding her that she's not quite 
she's just a little she's just a bit of an older lady she's a little bit stiffer and i know to obviously work her routine so that she just goes out for mooches we go out with nala who is stealing the nuts out of andy's bowl whilst i'm speaking <laughs> but just that little feeling and I know that you guys are all probably, there's going to be some people will be like, yes, she needs to be retired now. There'll be others, no, keep her going. And ultimately, I'm the one who knows her the best and it's got to be my decision. And I'm hoping that she's going to tell me and I don't know, I don't feel she's quite telling me now, but I feel like it could be quite imminently that that time could be coming. But you never know. She's now onto this. Give that a couple of months into her system on the Blue Chip Senior Plus Balancer. That might be just what she needs just to help her through. Or like I say, it will come into spring and she'll be fine. I'm, I don't know. This is a very chatty vlog. I'm just venting, speaking out loud, just of little thoughts that I've got on at the moment. That is just something with Spritey at the moment. And I don't think it's probably helping with that abscess. Like I say, she's been out a few times this week, literally just walking. And that was another thing. Addy then lost a shoe this week again i think because she's had so much energy she's been carooning around is that a right is that the right word carooning i don't even think that's the word you know what i mean careering that's the word around the field and yeah the ground like i said is absolutely sodden so much mud so deep and she's just yeah was right at the end so they've actually been shod this week and we've got stud holes now so that is another little kick up for my motivation to get back out training get some lessons planned get over some solid well get over some poles get over some solid fences as well and i have looked in the diary and i've got an aim to get to bovington which is in the middle of april i want to say the 20th and the 21st of april so a little way away yeah i think we've still got about five weeks because i didn't want to put too much pressure on myself to try and get her back quickly or anything like that so I've given myself time. Hopefully the ground would have dried up a little bit from then, from now as well. So that is our aim to get out of venting in the middle of April and then let the rest of the season unfold. But anyways, I'm gonna make up the rest of the horse's dinner and then get the ponies in so that they can tuck in and get out of this horrible, horrible rain that has finally arrived. Oh my goodness, I don't think we could have timed that any better because the heavens have just well and truly opened, but the ponies are in, they're not too wet, they're tucking into their dinner, aren't you, Spritey? You know that Auntie Susie is looking for a treat for you. So actually, you're not bothered about your dinner. You just look, yeah, look at the face in there, looking for treats. Yeah, polos. Yeah, you know it as well, don't you? Yes. But yeah, I think they are going to be quite pleased, actually, that they are in a little bit earlier out of that horrible rain because you didn't actually get too bad of wet, did you? No. And it's nice. I was prepared and rode this morning. I'm glad that I did now. Spritey obviously hasn't been ridden today, but that won't do her any harm. We will get, we will get out on you tomorrow, won't we, Wiggle? Yes, we will. But you can enjoy it. Actually, you look more wet. I haven't got any polos on the shoes. You've had them all. Eat your dinner. I'll leave you in peace and you can eat your dinner, but I'm gonna head home and get a shower, warm up, and go home and enjoy yummy HelloFresh. I have got to go watch the rugby first. I have got to go do that. Well, I haven't got to go do that, but I want to go and do that with Chris's family. So I'm gonna head on up there and then get home and cook one of our yummy meals. But if you guys want to take up the offer, as I said at the beginning of this video, then do use my code EM. 2024HF. You will get 60% off of your first box, followed by two months with 20% off, plus free desserts for life. Oh my goodness, I've got those little cheesecake pots and they're like, I oh, can't wait to have one of them tonight as well. <laughs> very, very yummy. But huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. It is wonderful to be collaborating with you again. And I hope that you have enjoyed this very chatty vlog of mine. I know some people love it, some people maybe not quite so much, but at least you have now heard what I have been up to, what the horses have been up to, what we've got coming up, and normality will be resuming, I promise. Content will be coming out over on my socials. <laughs> Back to normal. Yeah. <laughs> Needs to happen, because my goodness. 
feels like a very, very long time. And I do think I've actually got quite tongue tied in this vlog today. So apologies about that as well. But if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a like, leave a comment down below. And of course, hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already. And until next time, guys, which will not be three months time, I promise I will see you all very, very soon.